everybody, I'm Delicia, and I am extremely excited to share this wonderful cigar with those of you watching. Um, I have in my hands an exclusive brand new blend from Luxury Cigar Club. This is not just a cigar that they have managed to locate and send out to everybody. This is a cigar that has been in the works and it's their own making. So aside from being um, what I would consider like the perfect Vitola, it's a beautiful Lonsdale, it's a seven by 44. And it is um, an interesting band and name, which is really cool, kind of grabs your attention because hey, who hasn't been hangry before, right? But um, something tells me it's kind of a play on words with not just the whole, oh, hangry thing, but also like in search of that perfect cigar, like you're craving that cigar. So that's my own words. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but I just thought it was a cute band and cute name. So a little bit of detail behind this gorgeous cigar that I am very excited to light up and smoke with those of you watching. So taking a closer look at it, it's featuring a Mexican San Andres wrapper that's been aged for five years on top of a Nicaraguan Jalapa binder from a 2016 crop and a Nicaraguan Seco and Viso from Esteli from the 2018 crop. So a collaboration um, is in play here. This is with Martinez Cigars. And again, they were apparently my friends over at Luxury Cigar Club were in search of creating this perfect blend. So kind of behind the scenes, I think without many people knowing they were they've been working on this and managed to cross paths and meet up with Jesus, who's the master blender over at Martinez Cigars, who is um, responsible alongside, you know, our good friends at Luxury Cigar Club, uh, responsible for creating this beautiful blend. So I, for one, I have smoked um, two so far. I did a uh, five pack, which you can find on their website. It's a very reasonable price for this five pack. Beautiful Lonsdale Batola, again, um, beautiful aging to it. And the aroma before you even light it up and you're just nosing that wonderful wrapper, which by the way, happens to also be my favorite wrapper, Mexican San Andres, said that a time or two. But the nose on this thing is just beautiful. It's kind of like cedar and earthiness and like a little sprinkle of sweetness all wrapped up in one. It's kind of like the aroma that you're picking up. Beautiful. So I am going to go ahead and light this up. Now, I don't know if this is one of those limited type of things. I'm not sure how many were made or how long they're available. I just know that if you jump onto the Luxury Cigar Club website, you'll be able to find these for now in a five pack. And again, in this beautiful Vitola, which um, I'm glad to see somebody else that thinks like me, because if I were to create a blend of my own, that's exactly um, in the size realm that I would shoot for. Um, more so that Lancero, you guys know I always talk about that, but Lonsdale is right in that same family and it's a beautiful Vitola. Gorgeous draw, easy, super easy draw. There's a little bit of that very nice sweetness to it, almost a uh, sugary, caramelized sugar just on that pre-lit draw. One of the last times I did a review and I used this lighter, I had so many questions on it and I wish I had better information. This was a promotional lighter that I received in a little pack uh, that came from Onyx Cigars and um, this is a really cool little lighter. It's a single torch. Um, not sure where you can find it or the price point. I know that doesn't help anybody, but um, you can definitely um, look for something similar. I, there's nothing fancy about this at all other than it works every time, which is what I usually am trying to uh, obtain. it's like a it's like a almost a dessert type of start to this cigar um, again this is now the fourth I think it's the third or fourth one I have to look I know I've smoked two at least I can't I've already lost count this is either the third or the fourth time I've smoked this cigar um, and 
all the times it's the same start. It's like a sugary dessert, like almost like if you imagined uh, caramelizing sugar in a pan, like if you're a cook or something, it has that sweetness to it. Really nice. Oh, and it almost stays and kind of hangs out on your palate. There's a, a hint of spice that creeps in in the background. Mm. Along the lines of a mixture of a red pepper and a black pepper, definitely pick up that nice, healthy spice to it. And then again, that little subtle sweetness in there that's like that caramelized sugar. To me, it's a very, um, I don't know, recognizable attribute to that Mexican San Andres wrapper, which is why I love it so much. You get always, every time, you get that nice, sweet and spicy mix. So to me, that's one of my favorite things. Mm. This thing's a little smoke bomb too. Mm. Background with a hint of leather but definitely picking up the sweet and spicy mixture um, right up front. So I'm gonna kick back here and smoke this down a little bit more. And of course, check back in with you around the second third to talk about what other flavors are going on. All right, so coming back for right around the halfway mark on the hangry cigar i just realized that during the first part of this review i didn't really come forth and say the name very well i was more describing it but this is called the hangry <laughs> cigar um, and again it's just a it's a beautiful smoke so far i mean it's a again this is my i think third time smoking it and i'm enjoying it quite a bit it's a um little bit of a spicier kick up right now at this right around that halfway point definitely picked up more of the black pepper which i feel that once it sits in the humidor for let's say even an additional year that spice is going to settle so beautifully um, it's just going to be like the perfect amount right now it's a little heavy on the spice for me um, but it's still bringing some incredible flavors forward again that mexican san andres wrapper just to me is like such a wonderful combination of the sweet and spiciness together, that background of earthiness, a little pinch of leather kind of in there. And um, it's one that's producing um, a wonderful amount of smoke, really aromatic, very inviting. It's one of those cigars, again, if you're sitting outside somewhere and you happen to light it up around somebody that doesn't even smoke cigars, they'll enjoy it because it has a beautiful aroma. So it's one of those. Um, not a lot of different flavors that have come into the to play at this point but again that spice kind of ramped up a little bit to where right now in the in the halfway point it's predominantly black pepper and then with the background of that caramelized sugar and um, just that subtle earthiness a little bit of leather uh, just really nice has remained um, a beautiful draw, very easy, and a lovely amount of smoke output. So definitely one um, that again, I've, this is my third time now smoking it, really enjoying it. Uh, we'll definitely be ordering more of these guys. I'll be back for one last check-in with the final third. All right, so coming back in for the final little bit here on the Hangry uh, Luxury Cigar Club exclusive, their own blend, <laughs> a beautiful cigar. You know, I love the elegance of a Lonsdale. There's just something um, that for me, it's like the perfect way to smoke a cigar, to really capture all of the flavors. It's the beautiful combination of the, the blending. And this one is just, the construction is so good no issues on the draw. It's burning beautifully even. Um, it's producing a lovely amount of smoke output. You can taste all the different nuances to the tobacco used. So again, to me, these smaller Vitolas are the perfect way to really 
get that perfect combination, um, just like a cook, you know, putting all the right ingredients, you get that beautiful combination of flavors of all the wonderful tobacco that's used inside here. So again, really focusing on that wrapper to me more so you get a little bit more of the wrapper flavor which i happen to love especially when they're using a mexican san andres very happy about that and you can tell it has some age to it so again lovely combination of the sweet and the spicy elements there's been a little bit of a coffee slight coffee bean that's come in a little bit of cedar it's remained um, you know slightly earthy in the background as well as that little bit of leather kind of giving it more of a heavier, meatier kind of a feel to it. But again, predominantly um, subtle sweetness and, an, and a very uh, spice forward, more so with the black peppers. So I liked it. Um, again, in the, in the middle of the cigar, the spices is, is a lot, but not so much that it's uh, drowning out the other flavors. You just, it's definitely a black, pe black pepper forward on that particular part of the cigar. Um, but again, some people really like the, the heavier spice on that one. Um, again, for me, it was, it's a little bit more than what I look for. However, it didn't drown out, as I mentioned, um, the other flavor. So I still really enjoy the cigar. I think it's made very well. Um, definitely worth the price point. It's a, again, a really nice five pack that you can find directly on their website. Um, I would pick up a couple of these five packs, um, no doubt, keep them in the humidor, smoke them every so often and really familiarize yourself with some of the different um, nuances to the tobacco. Because again, with this Vitola, you can really capture that. So really enjoyed it. Um, for me, this is right up my alley. Um, hopefully you guys have had a chance to try out this cigar. I'm not sure if they'll be in different uh different segments of the regular subscriptions. I, I don't know how they're going to do it. I just know that you can find this cigar um, with that little five pack that I mentioned on their website. And then I would definitely keep checking back for different offerings um, depending on you know what they end up doing with this line. But it's a beautiful line. Really enjoyed it. Congratulations to Luxury Cigar Club for creating this. Um, really nice job. So again, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys have already smoked it, what were your thoughts? If you plan on getting it, I always love to read through your comments. So thanks so much for tuning in and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.